Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna discuss two different kinds of database relationships. We're first gonna cover one to many relationships and then we'll go into many to many relationships. This is part of a Django Crash Course series. So for anybody here not part of that series, the first half of this video should still be relevant to you because we are just gonna go over the concepts of what's going on here. And for my Django viewers, we're gonna cover the concepts first, but in the second half, we'll actually go into implementing this into Django and how it all works. The first relationship we're gonna discuss is this one-to-many relationship. And the example I like to think of is a customer to an order relationship. So in this example, we have a single customer that has placed three different orders. So a customer can place as many orders as they would like, but a single order can only have reference to one customer. And this creates a one customer to many orders relationship, a one-to-many relationship. And in the database, this is how it's gonna look. So we have two tables here. So we have a customer's table and an orders table. Every single time one of these customers places an order, a unique order is created, but that customer ID is referenced as a, as a, a single column in that orders table. So in this case, when John placed an order, his ID was referenced right here in this basketball order. And when John placed another order for a barbecue grill, his ID was stored again. And this goes on for when Eric places an order and when Tim places an order. So that's how a database stores a one-to-many relationship. Now to explain a many-to-many -many relationship, I'm gonna use a different concept here. So in this example, I'm gonna have, uh, it's gonna be a store that we built out and I'm gonna have products here that the store carries. And each product can have uh, some tags attached to it. So for example, uh, I'm sure we've all seen this on websites when we're shopping, that product may have certain tags in it like outdoor, um, sporting, or whatever that may be. And that creates just better search functionality and easier to understand what that product is. So in this case, we have three different tags. So this is its own table right here and products is its own table. So if we had a ball in the store and we wanted to reference sports as a tag, um, we can do that, we can create that relationship. But the problem is, is if this is a one-to-many relationships, we may also want to use, uh, we may also want to add summer as a tag because a ball could be an outdoor event, something re uh, related to summer. Um, in this case, we can't do it because it's a many-to-one relationship. We can only give it one tag. So the solution in this case is to create a many-to-many -many relationship. And in this case, a uh, ball can reference tag and, uh, sorry, a ball can reference sporting, the sporting tag, and the ball can also reference the summer tag. And then we can go ahead and get the barbecue grill product here. And we can reference summer and we can reference kitchen because it's somewhat related. And this just means that a tag can be referenced to multiple products. So a tag can have many products, but yet a product can also have many tags. So it's a many to many relationship. And I'll just explain this by going into the database design now. And in here, and I just changed the color so it's more visible. The green was kind of hard to see when we got here. But in this case, we have, again, I just took that layout. I stole it from here and moved it into this picture. And this is what the database is going to look like. So we're going to have our tags table and we're going to have our products table. So in this case, instead of having references in that table, because it's a many to many relationship, by default, we need to create another table for this. And if you're a Django user, this gets created for you. So don't worry about this. This is just gonna show you the layout. But we get an uh, intermediary table. And what this table does is it stores the ID reference to both tables here. So in this case, when we created the relationship between sports and ball, so right here, this relationship, this table grabbed the ID of sports, one, and it grabbed the ID of ball and it put it into here and it says, hey, there's some kind of relationship here. And then when we move to summer, so right here, we grabbed the uh, tag ID of two and we said, hey, that's also related to ball. So we grabbed ball and put it right here. So two and one, and this just goes on the list and that's how an intermediary table works between the two to actually create that relationship. So that explains the concept of how one-to-many relationships work and many-to-many -many relationships work. Now we're actually gonna go into Django and go ahead and add this tags, uh, this, ta this tags model and we'll actually build it in and we'll get to see how we can query these in the next video after this. 
So making these relationships work in Django is actually very easy to do. And if you're coming here from the last video in the series, you'll remember that we made this orders model right here, but we never set the customer attribute and the product attribute. And that's because we wanted customer to be a reference to a parent right here. So we wanted a one to many relationship. And for product, we also wanted a one to many relationship to the product right here. And the reason we wanted that is because we don't wanna to have to set the string value every single time a product is ordered. We don't wanna to have to manually add in that price or the name. So in this case, we wanna reference a product in the store. So we're not having to put that information and store it within the orders. So to create that relationship, all we need to do is do models dot foreign key. And in here, we just need to add whatever model we want to be the parent of this model right here. So in this case, we're going to set that to customer and we'll just go ahead and set the null value to true again, because we don't want to have any issues when we're adding items to our database and maybe forget to add a customer. Um, but the last thing we need to do in this foreign key right here is add an on delete method. And what this is, is basically saying that whenever a customer is deleted, because it has a child of order, what do we do with this order right here? Do we want to cancel it or do we want to just set the, the value of customer to blank? In this case, I want, I don't want to delete any orders. If a customer is ever uh, removed, that's kind of bad design. So in this case, I'll just say on delete models dot set underscore null. And what this is going to do is anytime we remove this order's customer, for some reason, if we delete them, um, this order will remain in the database just with a null value for customer. Now for product, we're actually going to do the exact same thing. And we're going to put that there, except for the reference to the parent is just going to be product. So now an order has a relationship with the customer and with a product. And in order to make this work, let's just go ahead and run that migration. So Python manage dot py make migrations. So the migrations are made. Let's go ahead and actually migrate it with the database now. And we'll just do migrate. I don't know why I can't spell right now, but Python manage dot py migrate. Okay, so that just created the relationship. And one more thing I want to do now is actually add in that tag that I talked about. So we'll go ahead and run one more migration. So to make things faster, I'll actually go ahead and just steal from this customer model here and I'll place the tag just above the order and we'll just change this to tag. And the only thing we'll keep is going to be the name for the tag. So this is going to be something like outdoors or uh, kitchen or sporting, whatever we want that tag to be. And to create that relationship in our order, we're gonna create an attribute called tags and just do models dot many to many field. And all we need to do is specify which model we wanna create that relationship with. So in this case, it's gonna be tag. So let's go ahead and run one more migration. So make migrations. Okay, so the tag was created and let's migrate it. So that was all complete. And let's go ahead and just add that to the admin panel real quick and throw in tag, I'll put that above. And let's get our server running and actually see what that looks like. So I'll just drag it in here from the other screen and let's go to our admin panel. Okay, so we have our tags, products, orders. Let's go ahead and actually create some customers and we'll show you how that relationship works. And before we get too far, I actually noticed quite a big issue that we just created. Uh, tag is actually supposed to be to product and not to order. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this up here, just above product. And we'll actually take out tags from order and just copy that and add that to product. So let's just go ahead and re-migrate our database. And let's just run those migrations. It removed that from one field and added it to another. 
re-migrate that and now we can get back to that. I actually just caught that as I was thinking about which products I was gonna add. So let's just go ahead and run the server. Okay, so now that we got that, um, let's go ahead and add our customer. So Peter Piper, and let's just go ahead and add John Doe. And let's give him a number. We'll just use one of those and John, uh, let's just do John Doe Corp.com now. And let's go ahead and add some tags. So I'm gonna reference what we had in that diagram that I created. So we'll do sports, summer, and kitchen. Okay, so now that we have the tags, let's go ahead and add the products. So for products, we'll have a barbecue grill. And this is where we'll actually be able to see that many to many relationships. So uh, we'll set a price really quick. So let's just do $200 category outdoor. And I'm going to just add in a dash for description because it's a required field right now. And in order to add the tags, we'll later on actually change this to a checkbox here, a multi-select checkbox field. But for now, we need to hit control because if I just click on each one, it's going to uh, only allow me to select one. So if I hit control and press kitchen and summer, we can save both of those. So if I hit save and I look at the product, uh, we now have a reference to summer and kitchen. So those are the two tags. So let's go ahead and add in a few more products. And just to fix this really quick, it's actually bothered me. I'll go ahead and add that string value. So we'll do that for product. And we'll just leave that to be the name and let's see if we have order properly. And actually one more thing, um, for the description, uh, null is for uh, form submission, I think. So we also need to add blank and set that to true. So in this case, we actually won't need that description there. And that should do it. Actually, just throw that into order too. Okay. And for order, you know what? I'll leave that blank. That's a whole nother issue. Okay, so let's get back to it and finish up with the products. So the second product we'll add, um, this will be dishes. And the price for dishes, let's just set that to $50. And that's going to be indoor. And I don't think we need the description now, so we'll just set that to kitchen. There we go. So we don't need that uh, description now because we added blank. And the last product is going to be ball. So we'll set the price of that to, let's say, $30. Outdoor and sports and summer. Okay, so... Those are our products. Let's go ahead and just add in some actual orders now. So orders, and this is gonna go over that many to one relationship. So orders, uh, we need to give it a customer. So let's say Peter Piper wants, uh, he wants to buy a ball and we'll just set that to pending. Now Peter wants to place another order. So Peter also wants to buy a grill. So we'll put that to pending because nothing's happened and we'll just give one more order and we'll just set this to John Doe. So this is the many to one relationship. It gives us a drop down menu, unlike that many to many field that gave us that multi select option. So John will buy some dishes and that will also be to pending. So now we have tags, products, orders, and customers in the database. And in the next video, we'll actually go over querying these from the database and actually pulling these items out and grabbing those related fields also. And then the video after that, and I might put them into one video, but it'll be on rendering that data out into a template so we can actually see it within our app.